Mikoski, Ryan Barber, head coach Kyle Smith, Alex Rosenberg, coming from the Southern Open Season. Really not much to say uh, other than we've uh, played really well. Um, just uh, really our, our team was, uh, we beat the other night and we had to come back and see what we're made of and really stay with the game plan. We're really poised on the road um, and actually one point during the first half. But I looked at one of our assistants and said, you know, it just feels like Furman in the sense that we played really well down in Furman our first game. It kind of was. These guys, uh, we, we didn't play perfect, but we played great. I'm really proud of them. Not much more to say than that. Questions for coach or players? Yeah, coach, can you talk a little bit about the uh, play off the bench, uh, players like John Daniels? Yeah, absolutely. John is our toughest guy. And, uh, I didn't I play just a couple minutes in that Maris game. And he, I didn't think he was at his best and what he normally is, but he also didn't get a chance. And he always got to be ready. And he just came in. He's a man. He's tough. He's got pride. He's go after the ball. And, uh, Against those guys are long, big, and tough. He was, he can't use the answer the challenge. He did a great job. Coach, well, no big charge. Got back to within five at the time. But how do you think you were able to hold them off? You know, we had really good guards, really poised on them. I think we turn it over and then we give them three. I can't even know what time was like five. And, um, we frustrated them, I think, a little bit because our guards were, we got, we got a big, couple big threes and I ran hit them in the clock. But we didn't just come down. Um, and take a quick shot because they want to, I think they want to get that, that there's a little momentum there and Alex took it, actually a quick three, it was wide open. Um, we missed it, but I you was know, like kind of, you know, and they came down with foul, so that was kind of a little run and I think Brian had one too and he missed it. Um, and, uh, but we just calmed ourselves down, so we ran a little offense in front of it, then at the clock we went to our, we thought, we, we thought we'd be able to get some penetration and, and kick outs for some shots and put up 31-3, so. Eight things, you know, but I just think we kind of stayed the course, and you know, we made every free throw. Uh, I think, or whatever down the stretch, I don't know if we missed one. We were ridiculous down the stretch, so didn't give, didn't give it a chance to get tight in those situations. When you're the underdog and on the floor, that that you know they get a little momentum, you miss a one on one, or you miss a front end. Uh, but uh, I think we're a good ball handling team, we're good guards that help us. You mentioned the two of the moments with the two threes back to back that was swung it back in your direction? Yeah, that's three, the three-pointer is such a big weapon as it is. And, and uh, like I said, I thought we got great looks in the first half. And in the second half, uh, I know Grant had a couple. Frankie hit one early in the half. I mean, it's two and seven, those, those are big. Those are big. Not the least count. <laughs> but uh, Alex hit one. But just, I thought we were getting good looks. And you got to make those. And then, but our defense will held up. And we did a great, tremendous job defending their three. And, uh, at the end, they, they were going to the dribble drive, getting fouled. They kept like all their five in there, and we just kind of warded them off. It was tough to stop them, but we were able to make a free throw. Steve, obviously, you had a good game from behind the free throw line, but I'm sorry, the three point line. Um, how, how nice was it, though, having Grant uh, take some of the, the shooting ones off? I mean, it's terrific. Uh, he's my roommate, you know, and uh, just to see him just bang those threes. That were so clutch. It was just awesome. And it was an awesome feeling. You know, especially as a freshman. Just seeing, you know, stay calm and poised. He just catches it. He's open and he shoots in. He's knocking them down. He's a drill. Coach, uh, at halftime, I think, you guys had nine steals. So, maybe you can answer. What are we doing to get the ball away? I think we're going to answer that. I mean, we, I think we were just being active in the zone, and uh, I know in transition they had a couple of lazy trying to throw heads and push it up really quick. So um, we did a good job jumping the passing lanes there. Um, I know they wanted to push it a lot in transition and try and speed up the game, and I thought we did a good job of getting back on D and causing them to try and force it a little too much. So I think early on they were doing that where we got you know active hands and Roseburg had a deflection, you know, to save the two point. Layup, and they had a couple of throw heads that we just got our hands on. So I thought we did a good job getting back and you know being active to get those. Coach, the zone against Marist, you guys gave up uh, a lot of big threes down the stretch. Uh, what do you think the difference was tonight uh, moving Villanova to 3 for 17? Um, you know, some of the coverages were okay at Marist. We looked at it on film. Like just sometimes the throw guy for them made two big threes, long ones that 
some of the Redskins zone, and then the only difference I, I got on this guy to my left, I didn't think he would. He's really a big part of the reason why we play zone, because he's really good at it. He wasn't at his best in Paris, and I think he turned it around. Makes a big difference up there, so. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we'll stick, stick with that. Um, Alex, right as uh, Villanova was making that uh, big run uh, towards the middle of the second half there, uh, you got you got to the line on a, a foul call a lot of the fans were playing. It was very loud. Um, everyone was, uh, you know, it was a very intense moment. Um, how did it feel to come away with uh, a couple of big free throws there? Oh, uh, you're talking about the one earlier, like kind of middle of the, the shot clock. I think yeah. shot clock. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, it was a late call, actually, too. I didn't even hear it until I fell down. But I knew, you know, I didn't want to just settle for a three. I wanted to get the basket. And they were being a little aggressive, you know, trying to you know, take the ball away. So I just wanted to power punch as I could. And uh, I finally got a foul call. But, um, you know, it feels good. I missed, I think I was three for six, and I finished uh, 11 for 14. So that was a big change, and I was able to make free throws down the stretch. But um, I just keep believing and stay confident because that's what I worked on all summer pretty much. Anything else, guys? I guess, Coach, uh, you sort of have a track record against Villanova, do you think? <laughs> Anything <laughs> special there? I have no idea. But, uh, we were, had to get lucky last time. I had to get a bank three in the NCAA <laughs> tournament he has done tonight. Tonight was, uh, you know, I just think, uh, early in the season, I think Villanova will be fine. I think we're pretty good. I think people started looking at scores and people expected it. Like, it was tough. Like, our Maris came in our place on two and trying to tell our team like it's a good team. Uh, they beat you know, early in the season and it settled out, but I think that was a good, really great effort for us. Proud of the program. I think it's definitely a signature to win for us to compete with anybody. Coach Jay, uh, Jay Wright was very positive about our ball movement, the way we pass the ball, making the extra pass. Is that a point of emphasis that you guys talk about, especially against the athletic zone like this? Yeah, and I, I think they, uh, we watch them on the team defense, and they, they're really good at taking charges, and they're really big around the basket, but I thought we had some advantages where uh, we could get some penetration, and, and, we'll, and it was, don't, don't just settle for the first one. I thought first they were settling for the first one, a little bit, taking some quickies. Once you settle down, maybe they will and penetrate, kick out, penetrate again, kick out, extra pass, we got we did we did a good job. Uh, it's really it's a very unselfish team, so it's uh, a fun to coach. Thanks guys.